Not only is this a face reveal, but I'm exposing Veil Scumbag 94. One, two, three. It's ugly, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna put the hood back on. But yeah, it's pretty ugly. It's pretty ugly. But today we're gonna expose Veskybum 94. Veskybum 94 is probably the most popular in terms of subscribers and views cartoon reviewer. But like honestly, on like lately he's been like a scum. So that's why we're calling him Veil Scumbag. Alright, alright, alright. So, um, I have a bunch, I have a huge script that I, that has points and points and points and points on Veilscapum. So, I know I'm so small, I don't even have five subscribers, but we're gonna take down Veilscapum 94. Whoever watches this, it's gonna be like, what, like six people. Alright. He doesn't respond or recognize any of his fans. Okay, now listen, he has a decent fan base, which I get, and he, and he has to like, he has to focus on making his cringe videos. But at the same time, you should just give some time to, to reply to your fans. Not just to do the heart or to like it. Actually respond to your fans. Actually be like, um, say if they have critique, write back to the critique. Say if they have a question, write back. Say if they say, oh, I noticed you, write back to them. Not every single comment, but at least most of them. At least the people that are repetitive, they see oh, over and over and over commenting on your videos. Those are the people that are your true fans. And I think your fans deserve, deserve more. They watch your videos. They give you the views. They give you the money. I think they deserve to be listened to. And I think that that's like the most that a YouTuber can do. YouTubers like Akeem Lawson, The Roundtable, they... Not only do they like and heart the videos, but they actually comment. Like, Akeem has responded to me before. The Roundtable has responded me, to me before over... I have huge accounts. Um, I mean, different accounts. Um, so, over my loads of accounts. And, Akeem, if you're watching this, probably not. But if you are, just type in surfboard, okay? Next. His videos are so cringy. Now, this is, like, my personal opinion. But cringy is, like... <sighs> Vils takes the cake. He used to be like this Gravity Falls reviewer, right? He used to be like top quality. He wouldn't be cringy. He would make perfect jokes. He would he would barely make jokes. He would just talk about the video. That's why he was useful to get your brains thinking to to prove a point, which is why Vale is so big today. But now he just makes random and unfunny jokes like who let them through the back door or whatever. Or like the one with like the Samurai Jack with like random animation, um, Reviewers, some of them are people that I watch. He made it so cringy. He was like, "Who left the back door open?" Like, bro, uh, bro, like you need to work on your jokes. You need to script better jokes. You can't just think like, if you think it's stupid, it's a bad joke. If you think it's stupid and funny, then it could be a good joke. But if you think it's just plain out stupid, nobody's gonna laugh. You're laughing at how bad it is. Then it's not a good joke. All right. And it's his content. He can post whatever he wants, but just <sighs> whatever. He does videos on kids' cartoons, like, kids, kids' cartoons, like, he does Steven Universe regular show, right, I get that, but he does kids, kids' cartoons, kids, Peppa Pig, right, he made a Peppa Pig ripoff video, who's gonna tune in and be like, subscribe to Vilsky Mom and be like, <gasps> Peppa Pig, oh my god, I want him to talk about Peppa Pig, what, a three-year-old, and then he made a Dog McStuffings video, like, bro, does it matter, just because it's interesting, do you think people are going to sit down and be like, Oh my god, Vilskipo made a Peppa Pig video. Vilskipo made a, a dog McStuffing stuffing video. Oh my god. Do you think people are going to like that? People are going to watch it for content. They're not going to watch it because they like it. Very few people are going to watch it because they like it. Right? Right? And it's just weird jokes. Alright. Let's be honest. He makes weird jokes. Alright. He is such... Okay, okay. He's not such a copycat, but he's done copycatting in his past before. I mean, it's not a word. But he's copycat on top of people before so many times and I have a later point well, my last point is gonna be um, my last point is gonna be uh, real something similar like that you guys don't know David he's a very small youtuber but bigger than me right he's around uh, smaller than a came and I don't know I haven't seen his channel in a while but he does Spongebob review videos which is Spongebob's a good show I think it's good that he's doing reviewing um how people do Steven Universe reviews he does Spongebob reviews great whatever Veskabon loves Spongebob I mean it's it's kind of apparent like, he, like I feel like he'll do like anything for Spongebob whatever whatever so um in one of um Veskabon's videos at the beginning he said the same intro that Noah B. David does and at the ending he did the same outro listen and he says that's a reference. It is a reference if you mention that it's a reference. The only time people can really do this is in cartoons and stuff. But if it's 
a content creator and it's his intro and outro and it's not clear that it's a reference and he's asking for you to just say it's a reference. He never said it was a reference. He's coming up with excuses. Bill, you need to apologize to Noah David, okay? You need to apologize and AJ Universe. AJ Universe is doing what I'm doing right now, exposing you. I'm just doing it quicker and then like more down to the point. But if you guys want to see an actual expose, then watch AJ David. Anyways, I mean AJ, sorry. Anyways, Dolby David, he deserves an excuse, um, an apology from you, Veilski Bomb 94, Veil Scumbag, sorry, Veil Scumbag, Veil Scumbag, Veil Scumbag, you does you give him an apology because that is his content. You did not make it clear. You should have said, oh, did you guys catch that? Or oh, that was just a reference. No, he didn't. He just said that. So um, yeah, Veil. Um, I mean. That's my next point. He doesn't respond to hate. So, I mean, even if he does see this, he's going to do it in the comments or in, like, the smallest way he can possible or just beat around the bush. Akeem Lawson um, situation. Remember how um, in the round table he tweeted Astro Box, oh, nice question. He put a picture. He doxed him. Right, 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 right. He doxed him, everything like that. Akeem asked him questions. And then instead of Veil being clear, he just said, I, I have exactly what he said. I have it pulled up on my iPad. I still don't know why they said, sorry at okay, KO. So that's your response. <sighs> I, I'm sure you guys could tell that um, Veilski Bomb, he just doesn't want to respond to hate. If he's cornered, he's not going to respond to hate in the best way. Or if he does, he's going to respond into a very, very little way. AJ Universe. Um, not AJ Universe. That's a different YouTuber. Oh my God. AJ reviews, right? In the comments. That's how he responded. That's how he responded in the comments. He smells like a. He sounds like a smoker. Honestly, Bill just sounds like a smoker. All right. And my next point on my iPad. All right. All right. All right. One moment, guys. He clickbaits. He just clickbaits so much. All right, guys. Here's a long list of um clickbaits and why gumball versus donald trump he's acting as if like the actual like team like the news team um of gumball right the amazing one of the gumball is against donald trump that's what he's asking um that's what he's acting like these cartoon videos shouldn't exist and then it's like boy you should have just said oh these are weird um weird gravity falls videos right weird cartoon videos you should not be like these cartoon videos shouldn't exist the only context you should be talking about cartoon videos not existing is your own videos. So that's very hypocritical. Steven Universe's disappointing return date. He's now acting like he's part of the news team, or not the news team. He's acting like he's part of the crew universe. He knows when it's gonna. He knows when it's gonna return. He should say, "I think I know the return date for Steven Universe," or "This could be Steven Universe's return date." But no, he just says it's the disappointing return date, right? Technically, it's returning on my birthday. By the way, November 10th is my birthday. It's returning on my birthday, technically, on the app. I mean, maybe on air, it could be returning whenever you, you said. But it's returning on the app, technically, on Friday. So, yeah. Shameless regular show ripoff. Even though it's your opinion, that doesn't make it a ripoff. Same for every other ripoff, except those actually make sense. This one barely makes sense. That means Adventure Time must be a ripoff from Regular Show, right? Because two characters having fun. Yeah, yeah you guys got it. Just watch this video. Actually, don't watch this video. But it's basically saying because Sanjay and Craig, um, um, it's it's a bad show. But he's basically saying they are that's a ripoff just because they're two friends. Whatever. The Ultimate Teen Titans Go Rant. Okay, this is his biggest clickbait video ever because he doesn't even go on a rant. He just says. Oh, you guys are expecting me to say this is like, like what you're supposed to say in a rant, but no, he's like, oh, here's the reaction. It's like, dude, he literally clickbaited you into watching the video. You were expecting a rant, and you didn't get a rant. That's the, that's the core definition of clickbait. You expect something, you expect the outcome. The outcome isn't what you think it is. My last point. He copies the round table. Almost every upload they upload, if it's interesting and if it gets views, he does it an hour later. He credited them once, but just because it's cartoon news doesn't mean, and you know Ostrich Vox's existence from my other point, doesn't mean you have to post it, Veil. Doesn't mean that. So you owe Noah David an apology and the round table an apology, especially Ostrich Vox. Hope you guys enjoyed this exposing video of Veil Scumbag. Um, this is not going to give me any views or anything. I did this purely because, purely because I care. See you guys in the next one.